hey everybody welcome to today's episode of simple steps to online success my name is Deanna Fenton and I am going to be your host today. We're going to be talking about the different kinds of content and what what is the content that you deliver in a membership site. So we're going to go ahead and the first thing to think about is there are a whole variety of membership, of types of membership sites. There is no one option. In fact, you can design your membership site however you want. These happen to be the six most common types of membership sites. And I'll go over these a little quickly. The first one, pretty close to one of the most popular, I would say, is a publisher model. And the publisher model simply means, much as I just described it, you are creating content on a monthly basis and people subscribe to receive this content from you on a regular basis. Now, that publisher model can actually be combined with something like a coaching model or a modular drip. We also have to take into account there is something called a UPS model. And the intent on that is you are delivered something on a regular basis. Now, a lot of people look at this as a physical membership. So of course there is the there there is a membership where you get a box every month of toys and treats for your dog. There's also one toys and treats for your cat. There is the shave club. There is any number of physical product box subscriptions. However, you can also consider there could be digital services associated uh, as a box membership. There's a coaching model. There are a lot of coaching models that include a follow-up to a course. So there are front-end membership sites, meaning you lead with a membership site model, and there are back-end membership sites which tend to be the type that after somebody has completed a course, then they sign up for a an associated membership. And the idea is the membership helps them implement what it is they learned in the course. So it becomes a coaching model. It becomes more of an implementation and support. There are community models where the real focus is gathering a group of people that have a like-minded interest in a topic. We see a lot of these as free Facebook groups, but there can actually be community models that the people pay for because it could be something, it just might be that the community component is enough and people are willing to pay for it because they are engaged with like-minded people. Then there is a modular drip model, which kind of like delivering a course over a period of time. Some topics might be considered a, a bigger topic than a six to 12 week course. And maybe it needs to be spread out over an entire year, but you only want people to focus on one particular section or module each month. So you don't overwhelm them by suddenly delivering 12 months worth of content. You release that content on a drip model and they consume it over the period of a year. And then again, combination model, build your own membership site, right? You can take any or all of these. I always do kind of suggest you do a community model with a, one of these other ones because people are really craving community and they are craving the opportunity to connect with other people. I am an affiliate, so if you do buy, I do get a commission. You know, my superpower is technology. That's the one thing that doesn't really happen in Tribe. You're not gonna necessarily learn anything about the technology. I happen to have a vast background in a number of different platforms, and I can help you with that. So that's gonna be part of my bonuses. 